Wow, this is the Egyptian theater. A lot of beautiful hieroglyphics around here. Hi everyone, my name is Matt. I really enjoyed walking inside the Egyptian theater and learning the history about this theater opening. They got a really nice exhibit about the history of building this Egyptian theater and they got very nice hieroglyphics over around here while I'm walking. Walk it out. Walk it out. Mm hmm. Hi everyone, I found the Roger Moore Hollywood star sign in Hollywood, Los Angeles. The reason why I really like Roger Moore was that he was very creative and making Simon Templar a very great character in The Saint, the TV show, where he made Simon Templar a very compassionate person, wanted to help people, and be very creative at doing different spy work. Also, Roger Moore was very excellent as James Bond in many of my fa favorite movies that he played in, which was Live and Let Die, Men with the Golden Gun, The Spy Who Loved Me, Moonraker, For Your Eyes Only, Octopussy, and View to a Kill. The, the reason why I really like Roger Moore as James Bond was because he made James Bond have a sense of humor. Very creative with one-liners, used um, gadgets to help him on his missions, had great connections with the Bond girls, and he had compassion for his allies and people when they faced struggles. I really miss the Roger Moore era of the James Bond movies because he made the movies very fun, laughable, and exciting to watch with his creativity of making Bond a unique character. Besides his acting career, I've always admired Roger Moore for his support for people with disability rights causes. His support for people with disability rights causes and his characters as Simon Templar in The Saints and as James Bond in the James Bond movies that he played in helps give me inspiration to work hard on my disability, which is autism with a learning disability, be creative at using critical thinking at different situations 
and being com compassionate for other people when they have struggles and finding ways to improve yourself. That's why I'm always admire, appreciate, and inspired by Roger Moore. Hi everyone, I'm exploring the Griffin Observatory today on this very beautiful weather in Los Angeles. I'm here to explore all the great, great good view of the Los Angeles area and to explore the signs in this beautiful, beautiful observatory. And I took the bus from, from, from Vermont Sunset Metro Station all the way up here on the Dash Brush and it's for free. So you don't have to worry about parking or taking an Uber. It's about 10 to 30 minute ride and I recommend taking the Dash Bus to help get you to this place. So, And it's really nice out here. I like seeing the weather. You can see the Hollywood sign. Explore all around here. This Griffin Observ Observatory is open on Tuesday through Sunday. And also what's really cool about here is if you get here early in the time, like around like 10 30 to 11 a.m you can always walk around here take a lot of good photos or selfies or video of all over this really really beautiful place and explore the nice areas of getting a good view of los angeles so just want to let everyone that i made it How many of them are there? Just 24? Now it's time to explore the Grove. It's a nice little outdoor shopping mall. Wow, it's... <laughs>
once again, folks, please don't, please don't jump off the trolley. Kind everybody. Treat people with respect, you know. Don't be hating on people who are different or get disability, so be kind everybody. <laughs> I'm going inside LA's farmers market to explore some really good food and find some really good tasty treats and healthy and other types of food, so include some snacks, so <laughs> Hi CBS, hi the cast members of Young and the Restless. My name is Matt Winnick and I've been a fan of the show since I was young and I really appreciate all the cast members of the show for working hard to make each of their characters have great character development and also have unique storylines. And I'll give a shout out to the cast members of Young and the Restless that I'm a big fan of the show and um, I would appreciate all the cast members of the show for being active on supporting people with disability rights causes and how their support for it really inspires me when I struggle with autism, including learning disability, and some of their characters in the show and how they work hard to overcome the struggles with mental health and finding ways to improve themselves to become better people it really inspires me to do the same thing, to work hard to prove myself to, to be a better person or try to be compassionate try to be mindful or try to understand people in a better way when the world gets tough. And again, also to mention to you guys is that my mom and I love watching Young and the Restless and it's such a fun soap opera and unique storylines and, <laughs> and that. So I hope someday I can uh, meet all the cast members of Young and the Restless and hope I can visit their set because they've been such a big inspiration to me and um, the Young and the Restless helps give me comfort when I struggle with friendships in life, when people get hard and bully me and tease me about having a disability which is autism with learning disability and um, this show helps give me some motivation in life and to continue watching the show and I just want to say thank you so much and I will always watch Young and the Restless, including on the CBS app too, so thanks so much. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Matt Winnick and I just want to say I'm visiting the Kobe Bryant Memorial Statue and the reason why I want to take the time to visit this memorial statue is to take the time to pay my respects to a very, very great athlete but also someone who really was a big supporter of people with disability rights causes and including the people of the autism community and he really inspires me to work hard on my disability which is autism 
with a learning disability and when I deal with hard challenges of being bullied, being put down, about having a disability, or even when people ghost me or don't want to treat me as a person who wants to do good things, I can always remind myself that I'm very appreciative of the fact that Kobe Bryant is going the extra mile to support people with disability rights, including people with autism, and he really inspires me to try to be a better person, to work hard to improve myself, to use critical thinking, compassion, and even try to work on to expand on knowledge to understand the world better and to, to make myself become a better person in society. I know it's hard to find good celebrities or athletes that are willing to support social justice, including people with disability rights, but it's very important that we have more of these people to support these causes, to make society a better place, and to even to help me try to understand how to navigate society. And I want to send my sympathies to Kobe Bryant's family that I'm sorry that he passed away. And I'm always thinking of good thoughts, sending you positive vibes, and let you know that I very, very deeply admire Kobe Bryant for what he's done, not only the athletic community, but for the people with disabilities community, including for myself as someone who struggles with autism, including learning disability. And again, I'm very grateful for visiting the Kobe Bryant Memorial Statue to take the time to pay my respects and to really recognize someone who really wanted to make a world a better place through activism, including sports, and wanted to do good. So I really enjoyed visiting this Kobe Bryant Memorial Statue, and thanks for taking the time to listen to me. I enjoyed going to the Third Street Promenade in downtown St. Monica, walking along that street to see cute shops, including some cute coffee shops and some nice stores. Hi everybody, I'm walking along St. Monica Beach slash Venice Beach and I'm just walking out to put all this calorie here, try to keep myself in shape and I'm just like, walk it out. <laughs> Another thing too I like walking along here is you can go get good exercise, but I try to do for myself is try to be mindful and be aware of my surroundings when people ride the bicycles or they're running or walking. And because sometimes I get a little aggressive in some ways, but I try to be mindful to say, okay, I'm just gonna walk and no drama. Because I say a beach is no drama, but just a fun place to relax and explore and walk around. <clears throat> Hi everyone, right now I'm walking along Venice Beach, you know, walking along this very beautiful beach over here. I walked through where they had a lot of good um, creative stuff there with music and the arts. And I'm just walking to burn some more calories. I'm trying to stay in shape on my um, solo trip in Los Angeles. So I got my orange juice here for backup to give me some little vitamin C. So I got a long ways of walking, but I'm just gonna walk it out. <laughs> also another thing that I like about walking along the Venice Beach and the St. Monica Beach is that they have a um, lot of public restrooms and also places to sit if you're in a rest or if you need to look for a bathroom and so they have a lot of public restrooms along this this area and it's very useful and so I kind of like doing that just in case. Go on up here to see what the water's like. Whew, it's a lot of sand. <laughs> Oh my gosh, but just can keep on walking. Ah, oh, I got finally made to the water. Wow. Let's see how the water is. Oh, 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 little cold. 
Now it's time to walk along the St. Monica Pier. I'm going to try to get a good view of the ocean. I found a very good view of the ocean from the St. Monica Pier. Wow, it's really nice. everyone, I'm in Pasadena, California, and I'm exploring the old town of Pasadena. I'm looking forward to exploring the downtown area and find some good places. I made to see what the Rose Bowl Stadium is. I walked about two to three miles from old town Pasadena all the way up here. There's a lot of walking, but good exercise. So now I'm just going to see what the walk around the Rose Bowl Stadium looks like. So. Hi everyone, I'm walking around the Rose Bowl Stadium and learning history about Jackie Robinson before he played in, um, in baseball. So I'm gonna explore this very nice area and learn some history about um, Jackie Robinson. And it was a nice walk from the old town Pasadena to here. It took about an hour and also I walked about um, two to three miles and just to get in shape and I'm very glad to come see this Rose Bowl Stadium, the outside part, and to learn history about Jackie Robinson who really made a great difference in not only in athletic but also made a difference during the civil rights era. And so I'm ready to learn some history and just to walk around this beautiful area.
Hi everyone, I got some dairy free ice cream, a salt and straw in Pasadena. I got the strawberry coconut water sherbet and it's dairy free and vegan. I'm so grateful for salt and straw every time I come to the Los Angeles and Pasadena area to get some good dairy free options and vegan because I'm lactose intolerant. So I'm going to enjoy this very nice ice cream. Hi hey everyone, I'm in Chinatown right now and I got myself a rice cake dessert here which is really good at Lon's Family um, Pastry and they got a lot of good um, Chinese desserts and snacks and tea so I recommend if you ever go to Chinatown in Los Angeles go to Lon's Family Pastries. They got a lot of good, really good pastries, snacks and they even got really good Chinese snacks and Chinese food if you want to grab a few or teas and other drinks so I'm going to enjoy this rice cake here and I'm excited to try it. So this is a very good place to go if you want to look for some any good snacks in Chinatown. Hi everyone, I'm currently exploring the Chinatown Plaza in Chinatown, Los Angeles. There's a lot of really cute stores around here and it's nice to walk around here and they have a Bruce Lee um, statue. I remember when I was a kid to nowadays I watched a lot of Bruce Lee where he did a lot of kung fu and kicking ass and making sounds. I was like woo yeah like that I was like laughing so hard so having a fun time exploring um, Chinatown looking all over the plaza it's very beautiful here. Another thing that's cool I like to explore in the Chinatown Plaza is see the Bruce Lee statue here, get some good photos, make cool moves like this, and really enjoy admiring Bruce Lee's all his acting skills and his kung fu moves. So. Hi everyone, I am busy the Broad Museum in downtown Los Angeles. This museum is free and it's a fun modern art museum to explore for many reasons. One of the reasons is you can take video, take selfies, and the staff members of the museum are very kind at helping take photos of you if you want to have your photo taken next to the artwork. Also at the Broad Museum, it is filled with modern artists like Andy Warhol and many others. It's also fun to explore inside this museum to learn some of the history of these modern artists. And also it will give you great description of what they're painting or what their artwork represents. I highly recommend going to the Broad Museum because it's fun to learn about the arts the culture, and it's also fun to learn some of the history of these modern artists today. And it's worth your time to get a good chance to get good photos in this museum. And it's very picture friendly and video friendly too, if you're looking for good content. I would highly recommend this if you ever visit Los Angeles.